So that Thursday, I was busy setting up sound for the 412 Youth Leaders Gathering. After I was done setting up, a friend of mine phoned and he asked me to come over to his place in Durbanville. So naturally I went over to his house and, and we chilled and everything. And then once I left there I went to go fill up for fuel and that's the last thing I can remember of that night. I was involved in a motorcycle accident where I had collided with a car. I hit the front of the car um, and the bike ended up splitting in two pieces. The front of the bike came off and the back of the bike was left behind. Um, my handlebars had ended up down the road and the bike had ended up in a different position and I'm not entirely sure what happened to myself. When I look at the, the damage that was done to the bike and the damage that was dealt to the car, um, there's no ways I should have survived, like absolutely no ways. Um, I came out of the, the accident with a broken scapula, um, a brain hemorrhage, swelling on the brain, obviously from the brain hemorrhage, and um, a, two broken ribs, two collapsed lungs, and a broken metatarsal. They then put me into induced coma um, because of the brain swelling. And that's the start of the testimony of what the church and God has done in me. For two days, um, the doctors couldn't tell my, my family like if I was gonna survive or not. So I was in, in that induced coma for two days. And in that time, the church prayed for me. The church has a, a WhatsApp group um, for prayer. And while I was in this induced coma, the, the message went around saying that they don't know what the extent of the injuries are gonna be and they don't know if I'm gonna make it. The church then came together and prayed for me. This is my local congregation that came. And um, then later that night, they also prayed for me at the Youth Leaders Equip Evening. And I believe that it's only through the church's prayers and God going, my people have prayed, so I will save you. Praying and just interceding and just, just asking God for healing, I believe that I was healed and that I've come out with minimal injuries where it could have been much worse. Like, I believe that God saved me that night. And through the church, praying, um, like yeah, God just brought a miracle through. I'd woken up on the Saturday evening, not knowing where I am, and just knowing that something had happened. And a cool testimony out of this is that I woke up with two thoughts on my mind, and they weren't mine. They were just sitting there, and I knew it was the Lord. And all they were is, God is good, and I love my mom. So, um, yeah, I, I had no fear when I woke up on the table. And I, I, I imagine that it's only the, the love of God going through me and keeping me calm. So yeah, I spent a week in, a week in the hospital and the, the church had just rallied around my family and just come together and just, just supported everyone. And they came together, they gave food, they gave love like for days on end, like I wasn't even at home and, and my mom was receiving food parcels and food every night. I, I grew up most of my life with, with just living with my mother because my father passed away when I was, when I was 12. And um, when I came out of the coma and I heard that, that the church was looking after my mom because that was a big point and where I was worried, it was just such a relief and just it was so cool to just see that the church had come and just like supported her. In, in everything that they could do for her. People just came together and they prayed and they prayed and they just went through it for me. Every time I meet someone, they're always like, yes, yeah, so we prayed so hard for you and like we interceded for you and God pulled through. And you can, you can actually physically see how prayer works and how prayer, like it, it happens. Like God listens and God hears what you ask for. And if it's in his will, he'll do it. Like I still, I still haven't received full healing in my arm. Like my shoulder doesn't work and my tricep doesn't work at the moment. But I still have faith that God will heal me and that even if he doesn't, it's not gonna change the way I look at him and the way, the way I've seen his love work and I've seen what he's done for me. Just, just seeing what the church has done for me and done for my family, 
it's, it's given me more of a love for the people in the church and made me want to put myself more in the church and do more in the church. And yeah, just put myself where I can and where God wants me to be. And when I think of the two thoughts that I had in my head when I woke up, that God is good and I love my mom, like my, even if I don't get healed, my thoughts on that hasn't changed. And God will always be good. And I know this because of what I've experienced. Thank you.